I'll tell you a story about a guy in Ireland. Uh, he had a small cell lung cancer, and he was given six months to live by his oncologist. And he just happened to stumble across my book, and he started doing the diet. And six months later, near his drop dead date, as he calls it, you know, he went for a CT scan, and his oncologist was kind of surprised he was still alive and looking so well. And they did the CT scan, and his jaw almost fell to the floor. He says, the cancer's dissolving, in, in the oncologist's words. It was going away. And he, he's just mystified everyone. They cannot believe it because he should have been dead by now. He's now over a year past his drop-dead date and doing well, and he's out walking and stuff. And people just cannot believe that you can reverse such a serious disease, particularly in a terminal state, with something like, as simple as diet. You know, it's not strong medicine. It doesn't make your hair fall out. It does just the opposite. It makes you feel healthy and wonderful. Right, uh, right, but, right. But and and usually it. you get chemotherapy, which is very toxic, isn't it? I mean, yeah. that's a very to- oh, yeah. toxic treatment. Yeah, and it's probably one of the most toxic things you can put in your body. So what foods are causing these cancers then? What? Well, uh, it's, it's our typical meat and dairy-based um, diet. Uh, and then refined foods, of course, and, and just bad, bad stuff. It makes it makes the body very acidic. I mean, cancer cells, not the cells themselves, but they cholesterol is used by them uh, is one important thing to make. Uh, yeah, it's a long, it's a long word. I, mean, I don't even know if I can pronounce it. But anyway, cholesterol is one of the big, big things. But also acidity. You know, you talk about protein and amino acids. That's acid. That's very acidic, and and the result of the meat and dairy is uh, a very acidic body. Also, animal protein, what Pete Colin Campbell goes into, is a big promoter of, of cancer. And uh, there's a whole complex of things. I, I, I normally associated cholesterol with heart disease. For some, you know, that's what I right. had, had in mind. But you, right. But, it's also a factor in, in cancer as well because it more or less feeds uh, off the cholesterol. They have they have done experiments with with people. And they have had a group uh, with on a cholesterol diet. Their tumors kept growing. They took they, this was just a, on a, on cholesterol. They they cut out cholesterol, and uh, the tumors re- regressed. So they um, had that under very controlled uh, circumstances. Th- th- there's a lot of concentration on different cancers. Breast cancer gets a lot of attention. Prostate cancer. Uh, are they different? Are they the same? I mean, wh- they're basically the same. I mean, you'll have someone like John McDougall, and he'll he'll say they're essentially the same disease. You know, they're hormonal based, and um, uh, they're they're essentially saying a lot of talk about them because they're so prevalent. You know, and and most people will survive quite well with the cancer. In fact, they'll die with prostate cancer, for example, and and similarly with with breast cancer. And and it's a very very slow growing disease. And this is what people have to keep in mind when they go to the oncologist and he tells them, we have to, we have to operate tomorrow. We have to get the procedure going or you're going to die. And it's, it's so slow going. Take your time. Research this stuff and don't get panicked into making a decision because they want you to make a decision right then. And once you do, you're into the, into the conventional treatment cycle and, uh, it'll, it'll do damage to your body. In fact, People, clinics who reverse cancers with diet and detox uh, will tell you, uh, without exception, people uh, whose bodies have been damaged by uh, conventional treatment have far lower success rates than people who come to them, you know, with undamaged bodies because the immune system has been so damaged by all the conventional treatments and the body, you know, maybe beyond that tipping point, it, it, it can't recover. Because mm-hmm. so. I remember, well, my, my mother had lung cancer, and uh, shortly after her treatment, she was 56 when diagnosed, and it seems six months later she was she looked 90, I mean, from, from the treatment yeah. that she was getting. You, you also associated, I remember, seeing lung cancer in the list of dietary diseases, too. I mean, is, is that affected yeah. by, by diet? Yeah, everything. They're everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. everything. Because it, it, I mean, we get cancer cells in our body every single day we live as adults. You know, and they're circulating, the immune system is healthy, and it, it'll take care of them. It'll get rid of them. We, we get everywhere, anywhere from one to 10,000 cancer cells every day. And so the immune system takes care of them. But what 
happens if it doesn't, if the immune system is impaired, if your body is very, uh, it's a welcome mat for cancer cells, then they then they just pick a, a place, they, uh, a locale in your body. It could be the lungs, it could be the liver, it could be the kidneys, wherever, and they pick a place and they start multiplying. They set up shop, a little colony, and they start multiplying. Now, and, and, and it can take years and years. I mean, usually with breast cancer, for example, it's been developing for 10 years before they can even detect it. And there's billions and billions of cells there. And so it's taken that long for them them to multiply. But they wouldn't do that if if it wasn't a welcome environment. Mm-hmm. If, it, you know, if they bio- weren't being fed uh, the, the acidity and the cholesterol. And, right. Uh, yeah. So And so uh, we just have a few more minutes left. We probably should get to the healing foods. Talk a little bit about what you're suggesting for people that they do. Well, basically, uh, it's your green vegetables, you know, your high nutrient per calorie vegetables. You want to, you want to put in the high octane gasoline in your car, uh, and get the most uh, nutritional bang for the buck. And that, those are the green vegetables and the cruciferous vegetables. And, and I, I emphasize a lot of blending as opposed to juicing because juicing will eliminate the fiber and that's important in regulating, uh, sugar uptake. Uh, glucose because uh, cancer cells feed off glucose surges. That's how they do the PET scans. And so we, we emphasize blending a lot and, and just basic, all, obviously all organic food, uh, all plant food, no animal food, uh, all the basic stuff. And it's not really a, a very fancy diet, but, <laughs> but we, uh, we really emphasize the green vegetables. Mm-hmm. That makes sense, and uh, so uh, going vegan uh, is uh, is the key to healing cancer. So, how can people get a hold of your books, your DVDs? Uh? Uh, they can go to the website. It's uh, rave r a v e diet d i e t dot com rave diet dot com, okay. and that has all the information. They can order order right online. I uh, strongly uh, recommend, highly suggest that people do that. It's ravediet.com. Mike Anderson, I want to thank you for being with us today on Go Vegan with Bob Linda. Do we maybe 30 seconds left? Uh, was there anything you wanted to get to that we didn't? Uh, I just say that uh, you know, buy the the DVD and the book. Uh, both of them go for 19.95. Buy both; they're complimentary. And all the details, we, we can only scratch the surface here, but all the details, probably more details than you want to know, but. Uh, all the details are there, especially in the book, and uh, I think it will be a real eye-opener for you. And, and anyone who's been diagnosed with cancer, has a friend with cancer, should get the book because uh, they need to research this stuff, and this will open up the avenues of, of further research. And in most cases, you've got time. You know, mm. There's no rush, and be strong. Uh, the doctor, uh, he, he's looking to pay his alimony bill and you know, things for them, you know, the golf, golf bill and all that stuff. The yacht and he wants you into, yeah, and he wants you into surgery right away so that'll happen. Mm. And mm. Uh, it, it's a money machine, unfortunately, and they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks. There's some great revelations here, including, you know, your talk about numbers right at the beginning. And if people missed any of this, you know, you can listen to uh, the interviews archived at GoVeganRadio.com, and you'll see how the re- the numbers are just so manipulated. It's incredible. So um, thank you so much, Mike Anderson, for the research that you did for uh, healing cancer from inside out and for eating. And people go to RaveDiet.com. Thanks for being with us today, Mike. Okay. Thank you, Bob.